In Swift, all copies of a class instance always point to the same piece of data. This means changing one will automatically change all the others too. This happens because in Swift, classes are called reference types. They don't hold their own value, but instead refer to some other shared pot of data. See in action, here's a simple class. It's called user. It has one property, a variable property called a username with a value anonymous. So that's just one property. But because it's stored inside a class, it'll be shared across all copies of the class. And so we can make an instance of that class called user1. We could then take a copy of user1 into user2 and change its username value. Now I hope we can see where this is going. Now we've changed the username of user2. It'll also update user1. And you can see that if we print them out in Xcode. Over here, if I say print user one dot username and then print your two dot username and then press play you're going to see taylor and taylor the same answer for both and that's even though we only changed one of their username the other one changed too now this might seem like a bug but it's actually a feature and a really important one too, because it's what allows us to share common data in lots of parts of our program. And Swift UI relies heavily on this. It relies heavily on classes for data because they can be shared like this. In comparison, structs do not share their data amongst their copies. And so if we change the class username to be struct username, the output will be different. I run it back now, we have anonymous and Taylor, different output. Changing the copy did not change the original. Now, if you want to make a unique copy of a class instance, sometimes called a deep copy, you gotta be able to handle creating a new instance and then copy across properties by hand. In our case, that's pretty straightforward. We could say there's a new method inside user, func copy returns a user. I'll do let user equal the new user, user.username equals our username then return user, like that. And now we can safely call copy whenever we want a unique copy. We could say here, user2 equals user1.copy, and it will leave user1 alone and create a new user called user2. So now we have anonymous and Taylor. So any changes won't impact the original.